passionate pleas were heard in an Oahu courtroom this morning before a convicted murderer was sentenced for a brutal killing in 2009. But none of those pleas came from the man heading to prison for his crime. KITV4's Paul Drews has details from circuit court. Before being sentenced for murder and sex assault, Corbett Ahn only had this to say. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Ahn didn't talk about the death of 18-year-old Iris Rodriguez Caicana. She had been beaten and strangled. Her partially nude body found in an alleyway behind Kamehameha Holmes three years ago. But during the sentencing hearing, her father made an emotional plea. This guy belonged on the streets. He belonged locked up for life. The highest sentence we get down here is life without parole. That's what he deserved. Ahn's mother also addressed the court and asked for leniency for her son. I'm sorry for um, what has happened to your daughter, Mr. Rodriguez, but my son didn't do it. Throughout the proceedings, Ahn showed no emotion and caused the judge to question if the convicted murderer should even be eligible for parole. You are a person who has no compassion, no empathy for others, and a person who lacks any remorse for your conduct. But in the end, Ahn was sentenced to life with the possibility of parole. As a repeat felony offender, he must serve a mandatory minimum of 10 years before being eligible for parole. A sentence that angered Iris's father, who now says he'll be there at Ahn's future parole hearings to remind everyone of how his little girl was killed. I think he should get the death penalty, to tell you the truth. I feel that that was wrong. I feel he should have got life right now. Life without parole. At Circuit Court, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. The Hawaii Paroling Authority will determine if Ahn will serve time beyond that 10-year minimum when he's eligible for, for, for parole. Meanwhile, Ahn's attorney said he will appeal the murder conviction.